In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, peace be with you. Let us pray. Stir up our hearts, O Lord, to make ready the paths of your only begotten Son, that through his coming we may be found worthy to serve you with minds made pure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah I, the Lord, your God, I am holding you by the right hand. I tell you, do not be afraid, I will help you. Do not be afraid, Jacob, poor worm, Israel, puny might. I will help you, it is the Lord who speaks. The Holy One of Israel is your Redeemer. See, I turn you into a threshing sled, new with doubled teeth. You shall thresh and crush the mountains and turn the hills to chaff. You shall winnow them, and the wind will blow them away, the gale will scatter them. But you yourself will rejoice in the Lord and glory in the Holy One of Israel. The poor and needy ask for water, and there is none. The tongue is parched with thirst. I, the Lord, will answer them. I, the God of Israel, will not abandon them. I will make rivers well up on barren heights and fountains in the midst of valleys. Turn the wilderness into a lake and dry ground into water spring. In the wilderness, I will put cedar trees, acacias, myrtles, olives. In the desert, I will plant juniper, plane tree, and cypress side by side, so that men may see and know, may all observe and understand that the hand of the Lord has done this, that the Holy One of Israel has created it. The Word of the Lord The Lord is kind and full of compassion, slow to anger, abounding in love. I will give you glory, O God my King. I will bless your name for ever. How good is the Lord to all, compassionate to all his creatures. The Lord is kind and full of compassion, slow to anger, abounding in love. All your creatures shall thank you, O Lord, and your friends shall repeat their blessing. They shall speak of the glory of your reign and declare your might, O God, to make known to men your mighty deeds and the glorious splendor of your reign. The Lord is kind and full of compassion, slow to anger, abounding in love. Yours is an everlasting kingdom. Your rule lasts from age to age. The Lord is kind and full of compassion, slow to anger, abounding in love. Alleluia, alleluia. Come, Lord, with your peace, that we may rejoice in your presence with sincerity of heart. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus spoke to the crowds, I tell you solemnly, of all the children born of women, a greater than John the Baptist has never been seen, yet the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he is. Since John the Baptist came, up to this present time, the kingdom of heaven has been subjected to violence, and the violence are taking it by storm. Because it was towards John that all the prophecies of the prophets and of the law were leading. And he, if you will believe me, is the Elijah who was to return. If anyone has ears to hear, let him listen. The Gospel of the Lord. Both our readings today seems to be warning us about one thing, 
and that is to not lose the plot. Because if we look at our life, we tend to lose the plot very easily in whatever we do, be it with studies, with work, and even celebrations such as Christmas. For example, we have lost the plot when studies become all about the grades instead of a platform to understand ourselves, the world, and God. We have lost the plot when work becomes all about the money, the power, the position, instead of sharing what we have earned. And we have lost the plot when celebrations and festivals such as Christmas becomes all about shopping and the parties instead of understanding and celebrating the love and the humility of God. And why is it so dangerous to lose the plot? Well, we will either be focusing only on the comparative less important things, such as on the material things of life, and the troubles that surround us, rather than on what God promised He will do in the first reading. Or we will be focusing on ourselves or on the personality of others rather than on the person we are called to follow. All these will lead us to either lose hope and even meaning in all that we are doing or grow in pride. Because when we focus on the wrong things of life, we begin to think that we are the Messiah, we are the Saviour. Everything that happens is because of our effort and not God's. And so, how or what must we do so that we do not lose the plot? From our readings today, it is to know our place, to know who we are, because this helps us to know our role in the bigger plan of God. And what is our role and place? Our role is not to be the Messiah, for there is only one Messiah and God, Jesus Christ. Our role, like John, like Elijah, is to be the forerunner for the Messiah, drawing people's attention to him, not to ourselves, and preparing the hearts of people by our words and deeds. In fact, when God called Jacob poor worm, and Israel, puny might, in the first reading, I believe it wasn't meant to insult or to degrade their dignity and self-worth. Rather, it was to remind them and all of us today to look at the grander, the bigger picture of life. For when we do so, we will realize that we are not only poor and puny, but also, however good, however great we think we are, we still need God's help. Let us therefore, today and always, especially in this second week of Advent, not lose the plot by knowing our place and our role in God's bigger plan called life, so that as this nurtures humility and keeps us focused and grounded on Him and not on the material things or the passing things of this world, we not only prepare for Christ's coming in our hearts, in our home and in our community, but also help others to recognize and live this good news. And so, let us together pray the words Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May God bless us, keep us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.